Hello. Welcome back to Pokemon Days. We found a war turtle in the <gasps> wild. Cameron went to the bathroom. I was just running around the grass, doing a bit of grinding and uh, seeing if seeing if I could find anything interesting in this grass. And uh, well, hello there. <laughs> a beautiful little war turtle. Holy crap! All right. Um, let's see. Probably Malone. Yes. Probably gonna oh be the best my. one. This guy came out of nowhere. Yeah. No, holy hell. We were. You said you were just about done looking in this grass area too. Yeah. I found. I found a couple of things. Um, I'll throw them up on the screen <laughs> because I hate myself and I love giving myself more things to edit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I found a muck. I found a magneton. Uh, of course, we already caught the haunter. Fernando. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> no. Uh, Buenos dias. Well, now we can say Buenos dias is the beginning of the episode. Last time we were saying goodbye, and I was like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Good day to you, sir. <laughs> episode end. <laughs> All right. I guess... Like, you killed it! How could you? I thought I hit st stun spore. No! Oh. oh. Welcome back to Pokemon Days. We gotta find another one. We gotta find another one. I want one. I freaking love Blastoise. Oh. Blastoise. My, so I have an extensive uh, Pokemon plush collection. I'm sure as you people are well aware by yeah, now. Yeah, just look at the intro. Yeah. That's That's, his... that's all me. Um, and, and my girlfriend. She's, she's an enabler. I'm like, I don't need this one. And she's like, what are you talking about? You need six. And she's and she holding like, like four of them <laughs> yeah. already in her hands. <laughs> yeah. I already bought these. Yeah. yeah. So that's Emily. But um, Great. He was the rare encounter too. My first, probably. My uh, my first Pokemon plush I ever got, yeah. I got at the state fair. I won it in one of the uh, like, like midway games. Oh, like was it one of the impossible ones where you got like a giant one? Or was it just like a normal size? No, no, no. Size? It, was like a, it was like a standard thing. But it was right after Pokemon co had come out. It was super popular. Like, oh, what do you mean I can't escape? Oh, Haunter's really fast. He's got that speed. Um, okay. Uh, but, like, it, right after Pokemon came out, and there was Pokemon stuff everywhere you went. And I, uh, I, I played one of those, like, like ring toss... Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it on, got it on one of the rigged bottles, <laughs> and uh, I won myself a Blastoise. That was my first Pokemon plush I ever had. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, okay. So this one time, um, back in seventh grade, we took a band trip to Six Flags. Yep. And we I. We were both. I don't think we ever mentioned this on the channel. Uh, me and Cameron were both in marching band in high school together. Yeah. We played the saxophone. That's where we met. The saxophone. Yeah. Years and years ago. Yep. And maybe when I was 14? 14. Ma maybe 13? I was 14. No, you, were, you had there to he be is. 14. Yeah. Yes. Another word. Well, when I was in the 7th grade, before I met you, mm -hmm. I went on a trip to Six Flags with band mm -hmm. because we went for fun. And I also played a game of Ring Toss because yep. I'm not a fan of roller coasters because motion sickness gets the better of me. So... I, I paid five dollars for a bucket of I think it was like fifteen rings, and the guy was just like, "Yeah, you just toss the rings later on the bottle," and he's just like, "You're not gonna fucking get it, you stupid yeah. kid." <laughs> hey, Be one and done. Hell yeah. I got um. It. Oh well, we gotta name him now. Name our little turtle friend. Yeah. What, what's the name of your Blastoise? Well, he I I, I, I so I didn't initially name him uh, when I was a kid. But I named him later on once I started my collection, and since he was the first, and he looks 20 years old, like the he's like he's like grizzled and like yeah, yeah. he's got like frayed he's edges, aged. and so uh, his name's Grandpa. <laughs> we can name him Grandpa. <laughs> Fine with that. Grandpa, I'm a great asset to the team. Uh oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna. What are you doing? Grandpappy. Grandpappy. <laughs> All right. Grandpappy. <laughs> Fantastic. Grandpappy the War Turtle. 
All right, Grandpappy Perfect. was sent to somebody's computer. Who knows? We, we don't know. It's not ours. Somebody else's. We'll never know. Somebody just got a happy old turtle. Um, <laughs> I'm going to switch out Fernando. I really want to keep him on the team. I, oh, yeah. Okay, I, lo I love Dragonite more yeah. than I love any other Pokemon in the world. But Veronica is fucking killing me because she takes so much to level up. I don't think we can... That's okay. I, I think it's too early in the game to we, have this. We did name Veronica as the Dragonair yeah. and not the Dragon Knight, so, so we can go put her in the box. She's gonna. Fernando's gonna stay on the team, and, and then we can get Grandpappy. Yeah, and then we'll have three members on our team that are part poison. <laughs> Perfect. So, oh no, as I was saying, okay. um, I was on this yeah, on this trip, toss. and I was playing Ring Toss, and this guy's like, "Oh, here's a bucket of stuff. You're not gonna win." And the prizes that you won for this specific ring toss, um, I, so they have the medium prizes, and yeah. then they have the large prizes. Yeah. And they're like, if you get two rings, you get the large prize. But if you just get one, you just get one of the medium ones. I threw one. You know, I kept throwing them. I missed a couple. And then I threw another one, uh -huh. and I, I landed on one. I was like, cool, I'm going to get a prize. And on my last, like, two rings, I got another one. And so I I don't know how I managed to do that, but I landed two. And so I got the giant prize. And, uh -huh. dude, uh -huh. I got a giant six-foot frog. <laughs> <laughs> it was, what did you do with it? I don't remember this. You to scare this. my sister. <laughs> I don't remember this. So, um... Wait, was I, was I even there? No, this there was were a in, couple of band trips that I didn't go on. No, this was seventh grade. Oh, so this was, so this was okay. in middle school. I thought and, you were talking about one of the high school band no, trips. No, and, we and went, I was like, bro, I fucking like. I had to with put you. it in my teacher's truck to bring it back. And, and another kid next to me also got a giant six foot something, and he's just like, what am I going to do with these freaking kids winning these giant prizes at <laughs> Six Flags? I should have said no prizes. So I took it home and I would put I put it in my sister's bathroom, <laughs> just sitting in there. So when she woke up one morning, she like flipped and screamed. It, it was hilarious. But that That's was fantastic. that was my ring ring toss. First time ever playing it too. I won it nice. twice and I've I've never won it since. Since uh, I'm actually pretty good at uh, uh, midway like games. Mm -hmm. Like ring toss and the like basketball, like at the state fair, dunk thing. Yeah, 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 the kind of things you see at like Six Flags and, and all that you know, good stuff. Different theme parks. Um, I got really good at them because when uh, when I was very young, uh, I had a, a injury to my head ear area, and so my inner ear is like all messed up, mm -hmm. and so I can't flip upside down on a roller coaster. If I flip completely upside down, um, then Don't I... Don't you lose, like, all motor feel, functions? Yeah, well, well, no, I can I can still, like, walk, but I, I, I feel like I continuously flip. Like, it doesn't stop. Oh, that sucks. It just, like, I so can't, your center of gravity is like, Yeah, fuck. I can't tell which direction is up. Yeah. For, like, a good hour, two hours. Okay. Uh, and it's, it, it's not worth it, <laughs> let me tell you. And I, and I like roller coasters. They don't they don't bother me, but but man, holy crap! I can't flip upside down. So if my friends wanted to go on the biggest roller coasters that always have loops and stuff, mm -hmm. then I was like, I'll hold everybody's stuff and go play arcade games. So I got real good at them. <laughs> yeah, that's usually why I don't go to uh, those places because everyone wants to ride, wait in line and ride the rides, and I'm like, oh. Can I just say when we caught him, he was level 12. Yeah, he's... he is crushing it. <laughs> good job, Fernando. Buenos dias. <laughs> Buenos dias. Y bienvenido a Pokemon Days. <laughs> oh. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. <laughs> I think she's hiding something. Let's just be honest uh, here. Or she's she's like trying to compensate. Like she's like, I, I promise my boyfriend's cool and you meet him and he's like, hey. he's not cool. He's not fucking cool at all. Hi, I'm Poet's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have a name. He just goes by the boyfriend. He's, he's just like, she's a poet. And she's like, my boyfriend's cool. And he like pans over and he's got like a backwards hat on. He's like, so bitch. He's <laughs> like, oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. It just reminds me of that vine. They're like, bitch. He's like, oh my god, Derek, you're, just, you're so funny. He's like, 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, ah! <laughs> Falls against the wall. Just being an asshole. Yeah. Oh, uh, I love it. Ladies, you yeah. want to know why all of the uh, guys that come up to you are assholes? Because the guys that are super nice are scared to come up to you. <laughs> and the guys that have He's the confidence points. to just run up and be like, What's up? How you doing, little mama? Like, let me yeah, whisper in your ear. They're assholes because <laughs> they, like, and not all of them. And, and not, not all of them one way or the other. But, like, that's, that's why. That's why you meet more jerks than you do nice guys. Because the nice guys stay at home and play Pokemon. <laughs> He's got valid points. Dude, Nightshade is killing it. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, it does HP damage, right? It does, uh, level. Is it, uh, right. Sorry. So that, whatever, that's, that's what I meant. It's whatever you're... So, against this Dratini, it's doing 15 damage. No, it does your level. It's doing 17 damage. 18. 18. He's at 18, yeah. You're correct. Wow. Fernando is killing it. Yeah. And he can't get hurt by like any of the low level attacks because they're all normal type <laughs> wow <laughs> that's why i got so excited when i saw him not only because he's one of my favorites but because Night nightshade's a great early he's move doing great we're running out of nightshades though so i kind of need to go back okay uh do you want to just do like a a thing yeah we'll cut brb okay and we're back um while we were running to the Pokemon Center, I was talking to Cameron. Hey, that's me. About, uh, oh, I should have deposited Veronica. Oh. My. Maybe. What? God. No, you're good. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what did I do? Um, Fernando's, Your disappointment. Fernando's getting really high leveled. I'm going to switch Malone in, get him a little higher. But anyways, so while we were running back, I was talking about um, voice acting because I'd really like to do more than I have done. I've, very, I've done very little, and I want to do more. Good. It's fun. Good. Um, but my my dream job as a voice actor is to be the announcer at the beginning of anime of, episodes. Of, like, a show yeah. in general? Like, yeah, like, like Dragon Ball Z, where it's like, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Like, that guy, I want to do that. Or, like, the Pokemon, where it's like, today... Ash heads out on his next adventure. Like, just... Oh, yeah. Where I'm Definitely. in every episode, but I don't even have to play, like, a character. I just get to, like, narrate. I think that'd be so much fun. What will our heroes do next? Yeah. Stay tuned next time on Random Guy with a Sword Stabs Other Random Guys with Swords. That's my kind of show, man. Yeah. Dude, I saw a meme today um, that, like, I... I, I related to a little too hard where I was like, oh, it's too real. Um, <laughs> it was every anime fight ever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was it? And it was like, it was like a dude shows up and he's like, the, the bad guy's like, show me your best. And then he's like, is that the best you can do? And then like the main character powers up and he's like, I'll show you. And then the bad guy's like i underestimated you it won't happen again and then like he powers up <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he like downs the main character okay and then it was the main character having a flashback to somebody being like i believe in you and then it was him defeating the bad guy and the bad guy going but how <laughs> <laughs> but wait <laughs> literally every Every anime fight. At least underdog Ever. anime fight. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, main character, he's been down, but now he's stronger, and he defeats the enemy, and the enemy's like, why? I think, I think that's why people were really drawn to uh, One Punch Man. Oh, because oh, he was just the that. strongest. Yeah, well, Malone What? Is 20. I, I looked at you, he was level yeah. 17, I turned back, he's level 20. He literally just swept all of, they were just Kabutos and Kabutops, so he just... Four times effective. You know what I just realized? Yeah, what's Like, up? three days ago, that Kabut Kabutops yes. just is Kabuto with two extra letters. Yep. They just, like, P and an S is a new word. Okay, now, there's an item in here. Battle But we don't, have, we don't have cut. You don't need it. So just... we have to try to bring him down. Yeah, there we'll we go. Down. Got him. Oh, hey, it's, it's, it's her boyfriend. <laughs> what's he doing over here? I don't know. Did he say he was Oh, he is cool. It's Nick Cage. Oh, man. I'm going to say it every time. 
Oh man, now I really want to animate Nick Cage's face onto him. I'm probably not gonna do it. I'm probably too lazy. <laughs> but I, but you, I wanted you to know realistic. that I wanted you're to. You're being realistic. It's fine. Uh, I should confuse this. Who are the actual ghost writers in this game? Is it the people in the tower? Ghost writer. Because it says actually, ghost writer. Because I don't remember that being a. You know what it might be? What? It might have because okay, so we're <laughs> sort of playing a randomizer, right? Um, what? This is news to me! <laughs> so, there's a lot of trainer types that are in things now that weren't in the original games. Uh, so, maybe it randomized all of the current trainer types. I don't know if it would, though. Because, dude, there were never clerks. We fought a bunch of those. Yeah, they're there all the neckbeards. Poets. We fought a bunch of those. Those weren't in the original games. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Way to go, Fernando. Oh my god. Killing the game. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, he's just waving at us. Well, hello, my name is Dugong. I want a Dugong. Yeah. I like Dugong. Me too. I like, uh, well, you like ice types. Don't you? I, I, I really do. I like ice types. Yeah. Like, I really like Snow Run. I love how some Pokemon designs are like, like Snow Run. Like, it's not based on a specific, like, creature or animal or whatever. It's like, based it's a, on, like, a teepee. Yeah, but but like it's but like it's a personification. It's like a it's a well, it's, I guess it's a animalification, whatever. I I don't know what his evolve form is based off of. No, yeah, either Glalie one. Glalie or yeah. Frostlass. Jeez, I don't even know. But like, I love how some Pokemon are like that, mm -hmm. where they're like super over designed, and then you have Pokemon like Dugong, where it's literally just a seal with a horn on its head. <laughs> it's like, perfect. They they unicorned it. It's the unicorn of the sea. They were like, "What? Do we, we need a mythical creature. Sea I don't king. know. Put a horn on a horse. Like, put a horn on. A... I'm like, you know what I mean? Thus, the unicorn was born. We got another TM. Yeah. Oh, TM, TM 30. 30. It's a. F oh, oh, yes. oh, baby. We got to teach that to. Witch, uh... <laughs> teach that to Walter. Uh, well, doesn't he learn it by level up? Well, that's up to you. Do you want to wait until then? Mm, that's a good point. But uh, everyone can learn whatever team we want. Yeah, so we'll, we'll we can think wait. about we it. Can wait. We can give that one to Onyx. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jade. Yeah. Uh, who is he level twenty yet? He's not level twenty. No, he's keep, almost there. I'll keep going. Keep on fighting. We're just trying to get to Bill's house. Oh, Bill! That's where all our Pokemon are going. Yeah, man. All right. So let's see. Oh, okay. I would like that on our team. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good type thing. So, yes, very, very much. Heck yeah, I like, I love its design as well. It's kind of cool because it's, it's like a, it's like a couple of different dinosaurs kind of mashed together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, the main one is a pterodactyl, but yeah, it's but like, based on its name, its, its skull kind of looks like a raptor mixed with a Charizard. <laughs> And like it's got and it it's it's got tails. like the classic anime like arrowhead tail. It's kind of like a bat. Yeah, um, but it also has like like its wings are like also arms like a bat. Mm -hmm. uh, and like freaking cool, man. Which I think it's really cool that bat wings like their wings are like fingers. Those are their fingers. They can curl things up and like grab them with their wings. That's, Those are hands. They're mammals. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna confuse you real quick. I wasn't quick. expecting that. <laughs> it's a giant flaming chicken. Holy crap. Maybe this is where the golden nugget came from. <laughs> it's already cooked. <laughs> the glorious flaming chicken of doom. Glorious um, flaming chicken okay. of doom. Nightshade's gonna do 20 damage now. Uh, that thing's got some hit points. It's confused. It hurt itself. Take I that! Think we can, I think we might be able to take We're it out. We're gonna have this. some fried chicken tonight! If it gets confused again, this will kill it. Please? Yeah! Yes. Hell yeah. Take that, KFC. 21. Alright, Fernando's gonna have to sit on the bench. Alright, well, <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for today. Alrighty. We'll head back and make sure we're all healed up. And we'll see you guys next Monday, I guess. Next Monday? Well, actually... 
What episode is this? I don't know. We're doing two a week now, so yeah. I never know if this is the first so one. So we'll or the last see one. you in three hours or next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.